So this is a continuation to the Pro Tools hack video, how I changed the Pro Tools background. So you're gonna need two basic things. You're gonna need a basic photo editing program and you're gonna need an application to edit a program's resources. I'm using Earth in View to edit the photo and I'm using Resource Hacker to edit the resource. All of that's gonna be in the description. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need to right click Pro Tools, open using Resource Hacker. Once you do that, resource hacker is open. Before uh, I dive into this, be very careful. You can mess up your Pro Tools. Piece of advice, always save as. Never overwrite your main executable. Create revisions. That way, if you mess up, you could always go back. So when we open Pro Tools, this is the background. Before we continue, let's back this up. We're going to right click, 1033, third option here. And you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it 1033. Uh, back up Let's minimize res hacker and let's take a look at the new file we just created So here we go. This is the background from Pro Tools. So let's find a new image So right here. I have this image. This is the one I want to use some nice faders here But there's a couple of things we have to do before we replace the resource Now you could go to save as and save it as bitmap There's been a couple of times where I'm playing around with Pro Tools and the CRC checks kick in and it'll tell you, wait, you changed something, Pro Tools is gonna close. And the best way to avoid this, when we change this background, you wanna match the replacement as close as possible to the original one. That way we avoid the CRC checks. So let me show you what I mean. If we look at the original background, look at the size, 960, 480, X8. The new one, 1023, 598, 24. Pretty big difference. So you wanna go to the new photo, you want to go to image, you want to go to the resize slash resample, and you want to put 960, 480, nice. Now the only thing left to do is change this uh, BPP, which is 24, it should be 8. So you're going to go to image, you're going to go to uh, decrease color, and you want to select 256 color 8, BPP, okay, and there we go. Now everything matches now the last thing you want to save it so you want to go to file save as and you want to select this option here bmp windows bitmap you want to call it 1033 very important you call it 1033 save so let's close all of this so let's go ahead and let's open resource hacker again and let's replace uh the background so over here at 1033 you want to right click you want to go to this option, replace resource, and this new window opens up here. You want to open with new bitmap, select that, locate your new file. Here we go. And you want to click this option, replace. Now we want to save it, but here's the thing. You always want to save as, you never want to overwrite your main uh, Pro Tools executable. So you want to go to file, save as, and let's call it Pro Tools revision well, actually, I don't want to space it. Pro Tools Revision 3. And it's very important you put the .exe at the end, the executable. It's very important you put that .exe. You want to save. Now, we're going to close this. Actually, you know what? Let's minimize it. And right here, you have the new uh, executable file. Now, we have to drag this over to the Pro Tools directory. So, open file location. And let's drag this over. Nice. As you can see, I have three copies now of Pro Tools. I have the original, I have a revision two, and I have a revision three, the one we just created. So let's launch uh, revision three. Ah, my iLock's not plugged in. Let me take care of that. Yeah, I have this cool software. My next video will be on this, uh, how to share your iLock over a network and you can use it on multiple computers. But that's for the next uh, video. So let's connect and let's relaunch uh, Pro Tools. Now, the one thing I don't like, the way it's opening, it's opening in those little boxes. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe some of you guys out there could figure that out. Now, I'm guessing the original one, it's just one solid color, so you don't notice. But as of right now, this is how to do it. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to check the description. You're gonna have the links there. Go download the applications if you don't wanna use that. There's tons of free uh, photo editing applications and there's a lot of free uh, resource editing programs out there. So 
You could definitely use something else. But anyway, you see that subscribe button, click that. Give me a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Google+. This is Ray. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.